You cannot detox without fasting. Let's talk about it. Today is the sixth day of my fast. Uh, today is uh, Thursday, January the 18th, 2018. And I started my fast Saturday, January 13th, 2018. And so uh, this is my sixth day. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. Sometimes you're going fast and you're really not feeling it. So anytime you're going on a fast, if it's not fun, just stop and do it at another time. So this one is going good. I'm not even aware that I'm fasting most of the time. So um, no telling how long I'm going to go. But uh, I wanted to make this video because, you know, you see people selling detox and talking about detox and it, you know, they're just selling people a bunch of hogwash. You cannot detox without fasting. Perfect example. I haven't eaten Today is the sixth day I haven't eaten. Tomorrow will be day seven. And I'm still having bowel movements. So if anybody's making you think that you can clean out your body and detox when you're still full of shit, uh, they're lying and they're pulling your leg. You have to get all that waste out of your intestines, out of your body, in order for the detox to work. Now, the only way that you can clean your body out is you have to get all the food and waste out of your body. And while you're doing that and you're not eating, this is when you take most of your liquid medicines. You're going to get the most benefit out of your medicines when your body is not trying to digest a lot of food. So this is a good time to drink all kind of juices, all type of herbs, all type of tea. This is a good time to run lots of different medicine through your body because the, your body now can just focus on the medicine. But if you're eating a lot of stuff, uh, you, it's impossible for your body to totally focus on the medicine. You know, fast, you have to eat right, but then you have to fast, you have to clean your body out. And when you're fasting and you clean your body out, this allows your body to isolate diseases. Now, you can isolate these diseases before you even know you have these diseases and your body can reject these diseases and kick out the poison that causes these diseases and you never know you even had the disease. Usually my fast, I start out, it really doesn't matter what I drink as long as it's 100% natural. And the reason for that is because why go on a very strict fast the first seven or 10 days when you still have all this waste in your body. So it doesn't matter what you're drinking at first. You just want to get the waste out of your body. Once you get most of the waste out of your body, like in seven or 10 days, this is when you concentrate on what you're drinking, right? And uh, a lot of times I'm drinking uh, lemon, cayenne, maple syrup, and water. I make a drink out of that. And that is very good. You can uh, look it up. You can search that detox. And it's, uh, it's really good for fasting. It's really good for cleaning out your body. You know, this time of year is good to uh, eat a lot of hot foods. 
you know, especially if you live in a cold climate. You know, those hot foods will break up any type of mucus, any type of thing that's trying to get in your body to give you a cold, to give you a flu. You can cure that before you even get it. So the cayenne works like that. The cayenne will go in and, you know, scrub you up. You know, the cayenne sticks to any mucus, sticks to any type of uh, disease that's in there, any type of poison that's in there. The cayenne's going to stick to it. Any type of worms or parasites, you know, the parasites don't like pepper, you know. So it's very good for you to go on these fasts to clean yourself out, you know, to, to, to rejuvenate yourself. Now, for me, I'm trying to clean out and I'm planning to do a heavy workout. So what I want to do first is I just want to eliminate a lot of fat and water weight before I start working out. Because, you know, you retain fat. That's a mechanism that your body has to store food in case you start starving. So if you go on a fast, it will get rid of a lot of that, that fat. You know, how, you know how you have the fat hanging under your arms? You know, the fat on your thighs? The fat around your stomach? Well, fasting will pull that in. It'll also get rid of the extra weight on your face. So when you see my video in a couple of weeks, you just keep watching. You can see, you know, I got fat cheeks. But because I'm a vegan, you know, it's... Uh, you can see they stick out a little bit, but you'll watch the you'll watch my cheeks get flatter and flatter as my body starts pulling all the water and all the fat out. It'll carve my body closer to my bones, give me that sculpture look. And once I do that, then all I gotta do is work out and add muscle. And then you know you'll look pretty much like a track star or something like that. I'm not interested in looking like a weightlifter, because when you lift a lot of weights, you become stuck, you gotta do that forever. And if not, you look like a, you know, you look like a stocky, flabby monster when you get older, you know. So I'd rather have the body of a, you know, a uh, person that runs track than, you know, a bodybuilder because nobody wants to be 70, 80 years old trying to lift all those weights and looking all funny, you know, all those. When you stretch your body like that, if you don't keep doing that, that's just going to turn back to flab. So fasting is a great thing to do. You know, try it out. See how many days you can do. If you work hard, just do it on the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. You can't do a whole lot of physical exercise when you're on a fast, even though you're going to feel pumped up. But this it's like chi. It's like reserving your chi. When you get this energy builds up in you, you can't use it because you can't replace it. So even though you feel hyped up, you have to reserve that energy when you're on a fast. And when you're on a fast, this is when, you know, after maybe seven, eight, nine, ten days, this is when you can start drinking your blessed thistle tea, your golden seal. You know, you could be taking some uh, olive leaf extract, black seed oil. You could start taking these, especially uh, in the middle stages, you know, because when you get to the last stages, you know, you're just going to drink water. So I'll be coming with more details with this as I'm going. You know, I'm feeling great. I'm feeling good. Uh, it's a beautiful thing. I've been drinking a lot of liquids. Now, one thing is you, you're going to be running back and forth to the washroom a lot because you're drinking a large amount of liquids. And that gets a little weird because the first few days, you know, I wasn't sleeping good at night because I was back and forth, back and forth, back and forth to the washroom. You know what I'm saying? And I keep liquid next to the bed and I'm drinking it through the night because on top of that, I'm living in Chicago where it's really cold. And so you got this heater on. Right. And this gas is, is making this heat and blowing this heat. And it's all this dry uh, air and it dries you out. So, you know, one thing about us African-Americans, you know, we're living in an unnatural state when we're living in the United States. I mean, California is pretty better. You know, it's a lot better. But uh when I lived in Hawaii, my skin was perfect, no dandruff, no dry scalp or anything. But you come to Chicago, you got to deal with the cold, you got to deal with the dry. And so it uh, takes some adaptation. But, you know, if you're a spaceman, you adapt. So, you know, take care of your health, take care of yourself, because there's nothing more important than taking care of yourself. You see, people are going to get you to celebrate a lot of days. But there's no day that's more important. Then your birthday. One.